Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm here to do an unboxing today, a long awaited unboxing. I can't believe how long it's been sitting in here. I bought this on launch day, 23P collection on launch day, and then I went to Hawaii short, like pretty much like a couple days later. I, yeah, it was just crazy. I, I had a lot going on, packing and everything. So now I'm finally able to sit down and film this unboxing and even the flower is telling me it's time to unbox it. So this is a true unboxing. I have not opened it since it's come back with me. And so yeah, I am now unboxing it so I can finally get to use it. I hope you guys enjoy. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Emily and I love handbags. I do handbag unboxings, reviews, comparison. I also love travel, fashion, luxury. So if you like any or all of those things, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you'll be notified of my future videos. I did have a couple of unboxings as well from Hawaii. They're small. If you've seen my Hawaii vlog, um, you'll know that I did end up getting a few things, but I'm not gonna put it here because I wanted to keep this kind of on the shorter side. If you stay tuned, that video, that unboxing will be coming soon. All right, so this is the bag. It came in, the camellia flower apparently fell off, but that's okay. Um, I was very excited about 23p because they had a lot of caviar options and um, a lot of mini bag options so i will list that video below if you're interested in seeing what they had in stores at my local boutique in san francisco but i also had another video where i showed the two chanel boutique offerings from oahu so if you're interested in seeing what they have in hawaii as well um, that will be below all right, so here we are. There is a receipt here and, oh, she gave me the tag, cool. Um, I'll, I will list this below if you're interested in the the code, but it is from 23P, so the receipt's in here, but I'm not gonna show you now because then it'll ruin the unboxing. <laughs> All right, any guesses what this might be? Chester. <laughs> I, my dog is like watching intently as I unbox this. Okay, so this is a magnetic closure. Oh, hi, bud. Hi, you wanna say hi to everybody? Just who wants to say hi. You wanna say hi to everybody? <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, sorry for the interruption. You really wanted to say hi. So here we go, ready? Inside is the white tissue paper and the sticker didn't really stick so I guess that's good because I always have to be very careful about that. <laughs> um, here we go. Inside is this little thing. There is also a care booklet which is in that uh, more eco-friendly paper instead of the plastic and then more tissue paper. So I'm going to put this box down and then show you what's inside. Not sure if you have any guesses. It is a rather small bag. And if you've seen my shopping vlog the first day, you might have an idea what I looked at. So I think one of you also left a comment there wondering if we got the same thing. So maybe we did, but here we go to reveal this gorgeous bag. Oh my God. So this is the 23P Sweetheart bag in the white caviar leather with the antique gold hardware. And then also it's in the small size. So there's there are three sizes. There is a mini and then a small and then a medium size. This one is um, the small size and yeah, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so let me just take a quick peek. Um, they did bring this one out from the back for me. Um, I had tried on the one on display and I, I love it when they have one in the back because especially with, you know, such a light color, I definitely want to make sure it's pristine. And so I took a quick peek, but I was also running late. So I was like, yeah, it looks good. <laughs> but here, let me bring it closer to show you. This is a beautiful white caviar leather. And it is very similar to the mini rectangular. Actually, look at this. There's a little heart where there's usually like a little CC thing. But yeah, look how cute. Um, and so while I'm up here, I'll, I guess I'll show you what's inside. It is white leather. 
here. There's a little flap of felt to protect it from being in the box. And so there's still the quilting here. paper stuffing and then here is the chain so the chain is a flat same uh, antique gold hardware it does not have leather woven through like some of their other bags and um, on the top it's actually uh, has a little loop metal loop right here where the chain goes through and so you'll see that one side has one strap hooked and the other strap loops through like so and the reason is because the bauble here, and this is how this bag gets the name, the sweetheart bag, is because of this. It's an adjustable toggle. So if you press down on it, you see how it's raised up? If you press down on it, you can actually slide this chain through to make it shorter or longer. So you see now, maybe if I move back a little bit, you'll see that this chain actually is adjusted. So. There we go. You can see how now the toggle's up here and this chain is shortened. Um, it's a little also a little twisted, so let me fix it. Okay, so here we go. And then this side stays the same. So the overall like beauty about this bag, besides it being so similar to a classic flap, is that it is adjustable. So fits a lot of different heights. And then let me just finish showing you the inside has a zipped pocket. So um, the mini size does not have a zip pocket. The mini size only has a slip pocket, but this one's a zip pocket. And it is, uh, you know, one of the new styles so that it has now the little tag instead of a authenticity card. And then of course the inside is the same white leather. Um, so I don't know if you can see it, but it's white leather and it's a smooth leather. Um, so it kind of feels more like the inside of the classic flaps um, rather than the caviar leather. So that is the bag. On the back, it does have the Mona Lisa pocket, which you can uh, tuck, you know, actually I was able to put my phone, but it, it would stick up straight. And then it's also leather lined. So I don't think you could, you're going to be able to see that. <laughs> but yeah, how beautiful. So I can't explain how excited I am. I missed out on the My Perfect uh, flat bags, which was released, I think, back in 2021. And I've been trying to get my hands on them, <laughs> but um, I don't know. I just, I just like getting it in stores. And I'm really glad because these ones, this one's actually attached from the top. Um, the My Perfect ones are on the side. So I, I think the side ones will pull it out more, whereas this one will keep the shape of the, um, the gusseted side right here a little better. I also like that this one doesn't have a leather strap, which is different than my Pearl Crush, which I'll bring really quick to show you. So this is my Pearl Crush, which came into my collection about, I think, 2020. Um, it is lambskin, which I love, but I also wanted something a little bit more durable um, in leather, and this one is uh, woven through with leather. The strap here is adjustable, which is what why I really wanted this one because I know how much I like my adjustable straps but the adjustable strap on this one doesn't hook back onto itself so what ends up happening is that you have this long dangling bit if you shortened it a lot like so but it's not it's not the end of the world like I still use it no problem like this but yeah I, I just thought it'd be really nice to not have this dangle bit um, as an option as well so that's why I wanted to look for the My Perfect one, which I did not get my hands on. And the 22K collection also had a uh, adjustable strap one, which I wasn't able to get my hands on in the right size that I wanted. So anyway, ultimately I saw this one, I had to go get it and I'm, I'm really excited they had it on the first day. This one does come in three sizes. Like I said, the, a smaller size than this, which is really small and a bigger size than this. I'll try to insert some mod shots of me trying them. They also come in uh, a few colors. There's this white color, there's a black, there's a lilac, which looks actually like a pink, there's a green, and then there's a denim. And I believe there's also a gold one, but I haven't seen that in real life, so I'm not sure if they actually exist. But this one was the one I chose because I already have a lot of black bags, and so I thought like, oh, maybe I'll get the lilac one, but it was way too stark pink. I don't think I'll wear it very often. It's harder to match, I think. The green one's pretty but again I don't know if I can match it with my outfits so I think this one was the the 
the prettiest one. I was worried about it being white, but my essay reminded me I actually do already have another white handbag from Chanel and it's been doing great and it is here. This is my first white colored um, handbag from Chanel. This one is from the 19K collection and um, yeah, it's it's iridescent white and so it's actually done really well for me. If there are anywhere, I think I've explained this in my updated review of this bag uh, before. If you want to see that video, I'll also list it below. But yeah, it is the one that is the most delicate of all of my Chanel handbags because it is a light color. So um, I do have to be a little bit more cautious about it, but um, it's not something that I cannot just you know, wipe off when I first see it. So let me just bring it closer so that you can see the two. This one's iridescent white. So in this light, you can see it kind of has like sheen, whereas this one's more flat. So yeah, this one is definitely, I think more durable. Anytime you have iridescent leather, it has like a coating on top that if you kind of scratch it or something, you can see it because it loses the iridescence. So I'm hoping that this one would be more durable and I could bring it on more trips, but they both serve a different thing. I think this one is like way more dressy and elegant. This one's like more laid back style and I can wear this on errands and stuff. I will be doing a more in-depth review of this bag uh, because I usually do that after wearing it for a couple months. But in the meantime, I just wanted to show you the um, how this chain adjusts and how much it can adjust. So you can pull this all the way to the end right here, as you can see. Um, so it, it is quite long. If I measure the drop of this, and this is really rough because I'm <laughs> holding it like this, but um, it's about maybe 26 inches long of a drop. So if you're tall, this could definitely still be a crossbody bag. Um, and let me just try to make it so that it's the shortest. It does slide a lot smoother, I think, without the leather intertwined. So here we go. Yeah, so I think this is the shortest. The heart shape is all the way at the end here now. And so let's just take a quick peek. Um, and it's about 13 and a half inches drop. So again, if you're short like me, I'm 5'1", you can still, no problem, wear it crossbody or on the shoulder. So hopefully <laughs> this is helpful. And just with the bag empty, I weighed it at about 17 ounces. So if that's important to you as well, um, the chain does feel light. It doesn't feel heavy like the classic flap chains, um, but it also doesn't feel as flimsy as the 22 K collection straps, the adjustable straps. And that's kind of what threw me off of that one because it felt really light and this one feels a little heavier. So um, just in case you wanted to know that as well. I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know if you guessed it correctly. I will be wearing this out soon. Um, oh, let me show you it with my phone. I have the Pixel 5 and I think a lot of you wonder if it could fit. So here we go. If it's no problem, you can actually see that there's a lot more space in there. Um, so if you have a bigger phone, it will also fit in here. I believe the mini size, the width is about the same. It's just a little shorter. So again, yeah, the, the medium size definitely can fit a lot. I'm pretty sure it can even fit like my iPad mini. I didn't try it out, but just from where it was sitting on my body when I tried it on the store, it, de it did seem like it would fit. So. I'll be wearing this out. If you want to see mod shots, outfits with it, visit me on my Instagram at clutch to carry all Otherwise, stay tuned for the review of this bag in about a couple months, maybe. Um, I'll, I could do one earlier if I noticed anything or, you know, timing is right. I'll show you more there as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more unboxings to come and reviews to come. I'd love to see you back here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay tuned for mod shots and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.